lab's research can be thought of uh, as having three prongs. One is an empirical study, an experimental study of how the brain develops its abilities of recognition. The second prong is looking at how this developmental trajectory can be derailed and can lead to uh, conditions like autism. And the third arm of research is computational modeling. So creating machine vision systems that can, to some extent, mimic the, the amazing capabilities of the brain. So this idea that I described of using simple features in order to encode images, it has its roots in both the first, uh, first arm uh, of empirical studies about brain function and also in the third arm of computational modeling. Um, so we have created a face detection system using these kinds of features. And we are finding that that face detection system, despite its simplicity, computationally, it's a very lightweight system. Lightweight in all of the good senses. It achieves the kind of robustness that we wanted to, to achieve. Um, and we now want to extend this idea beyond just the domain of faces to other kinds of pattern recognition tasks. So if you want to recognize people um, or vehicles or even auditory sequences, our hope is that using the same strategy of having very simple representations will allow us to not only do the task more uh, efficiently, but also more robustly. I would say uh, that in the real world, many of the tasks that we would want automation, automated sensory systems to perform, uh, boil down to recognition. For if you imagine an industrial inspection line, um, so you want to have a camera, that's looking at the products as they're coming off the assembly line, and you want to do quality control. You want to make sure that all of the items that are being produced um, are flawless. That problem is essentially a problem of recognition. You want to determine whether each one of these objects is the perfect replica of your quote-unquote ideal object. Um, now, given how rapidly assembly lines produce objects, the, the computational demands of the machine vision system have to be such that they, the machine vision system can deliver in real time. You cannot slow down the assembly line in order to, to perform this. So a real world application of the insights that we have gotten and the, the, the computational system that we are creating would be in deploying these systems for, say, industrial inspection, or even for things like recognizing objects using cell phone cameras, even though we are a little ways away from this. But eventually, you can imagine an application of the following kind. You go to a store, you see an, uh, a product that you like, you take a picture of that product with no other textual annotation, uh, and the system automatically recognizes what that object is, digs through its database of other objects and tells you what are the other objects in a similar style or of the same category. So it can help facilitate commerce uh, in, in one setting. It can help facilitate inspection in another setting. And there are a million other applications of, of recognition. So I would say that object recognition is one of the most significant uh, challenges that once we solve it properly, there would be unlimited applications of.